Hello everyone. Today we shall look into total MTD, total QTD and total YTD functions. These functions evaluate the value of expression for the month to date, quarter to date, year to date, similar to dates uh, functions in the current context. Here we have the parameters, expression, dates and in addition we can add the filter unlike the dates MTD, QTD and YTD functions. In total YTD function we have an additional uh, parameter which is year and date based upon the fiscal calendar if you would like to uh, you know change the calendar month end you could uh, change in the year and date parameter the date argument can be a reference to a date time column it can be a table expression that returns a single column of date time values it can be a boolean expression that defines a single column table of date time values these functions are not supported for use in direct query mode when it is used in calculated columns or row level security rules. Let us understand in an example how it works. Here we have the calendar dates and the total sales. Total sales is a simple measure where I have written the sum of order detail sales column. Here let us understand how total MTD function works. Let us create a new measure. Here I will write total mtd equal to total mtd in the expression i will write total sales and in the dates i will write calendar date and uh, filter expression is optional if you have single table where you have multiple categories or dimensions in order to filter you could uh, use the filter argument for now i will close the parenthesis and hit enter similar to the total mtd measure let us create total QTD and total YTD measures. The difference you could notice here is total MTD, QTD and YTD functions. These do not require calculate function uh, to, to be enclosed with. Okay, this is how total QTD, MTD and YTD function differs from dates functions. And in addition, these functions have filter argument unlike dates functions. Okay, I'll create another measure. Let us create total YTD. Now we shall bring all the measures into this table. I'll select total MTD, total QTD and total YTD. Okay. Now we have brought all the measures into the table. Let us understand how it works. If you could see here in total MTD, the values are being accumulated for a particular month. Okay. Suppose that for July 31st, here you could see that for July 31st, the total is 30,192. It is the total for this particular month. And uh, if you scroll down for the July 31st, here you could see that total it is 26,609 is the total for August month. If you could uh, check for total QTD, what it does is it accumulates the total val sales values till the quarter, quarter end. Okay, for July, August and the September, the total would appear in the September month end date. Here you could see that in the July month end, here the total QTD value, you could see that 84,437 is the total QTD value for the September month end for the quarter, you know, Q3, which is July, August and September. Similarly, for every quarter, the values would accumulate and the total QTD values represent the cumulative total of that quarter. Okay, for uh, YTD, we shall scroll down and uh, if we could see in the December 31st, here we have 2,26,298 which represents the total of the whole particular year of 2013. Okay, and uh, this would uh, accumulate on yearly basis. Total YTD represents the cumulative total of the whole year based upon the context provided. Okay, this is how total MTD, QTD and YTD functions help us to see the cumulative totals and we could add additional filters in the filter arguments of these functions if at all we have uh, those respective dimensions. This is all for now. Thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video.